Wow. I mean, there was no warning. It make... no, no rain or nothing. Huh? It's hailing. I can't even believe it. I'm going to look out the front door. Yeah. You see it on the carpet. Yeah. guys it's me just hanging out after dark uh i have all three kittens right here sitting at the sliding doors just watching me and i think mama kitty's over in the corner too so i always have an audience when i film these if it's not one cat or another anyway i want to quickly show the stuff i got from hot topic because i forgot to do that in one of my other vlogs because honestly, I haven't edited um, vlogs for a while, and tonight I edited like three of them, and so yeah, I totally forgot to do that. But anywho, the first thing I got from Hot Topic was a set of cups. Now, these are obviously their travel mugs, they come with the plastic straw. They have the guard that keeps the straw from falling out of the top. And these also change colors when you put a cold drink in them. It does not work with a hot drink. So if I do like iced coffees or like chocolate milk or anything in here, then it'll work. And I tend to take this out and use my metal straw, not for any reason, but the Target metal straws actually do fit in here, which is awesome because in the other Slytherin travel mug that I had, they didn't. So this came in a set of four and obviously one of each house. And so I've used the Ravenclaw one and the Hufflepuff one. This one and the Gryffindor one are still sitting on the table waiting to be used. And goodness knows if I'll ever be in the mood to use the Gryffindor one, but that's that. Then I got, well, I'll show those last. I got these, they came in two separate packages for whatever reason, but this, it's like a hoodie sweater, actually no, it's a, well it has like the hoodie pocket, what is, I don't even know what it, that's called, there's a specific name for that, but this is the Chevron house sweater from Hot Topic, and I absolutely love this like triangle design with the Hufflepuff one it's not as easy to see because there's two stripes here but the one is black so it fits right in with the rest so I love that it has this like written on it and then on the sleeve it has the crest on this side I don't think it has no it doesn't have it on this side but I love this and you're, you may be thinking why in the world did you get the Hufflepuff one well actually I got the Ravenclaw one too and no I didn't get the other two the Slytherin wasn't available like I did I looked through every single page on Hot Topic and it was not available so I just got these two and I got them a size medium again love this writing here it's really cool and you can definitely see the two <laughs> you can see the two stripes on here and then the crest and I love these these I got them both in a medium they're long enough for me to wear them with like biker shorts but they look funny if I wear them with skirts and kind of, I don't remember if I tried them on with jeans or not, but yeah, I would have to find the right things, but I love these. These are so comfortable. They're soft on the outside and soft on the inside. The only weird part about them is this patch, but that's to be expected when you have a patch that's, I believe it's embroidered. Yeah, this is embroidered on, so this is really good. These are like $50 sweaters. It was insane. Oops. Okay, I'll show that one last. This hoodie. It's got Remus and Dora on it. And that's that's a Remus quote. What does it say? Harry is the best hope we have. Trust him. Um, this... The design's okay. I wish you could really, I wish they weren't in green and that it was like a better design altogether because you really can't see the writing that well. And it's definitely like a printed on design, which I'm not surprised because basically every single one of Hot Topics, like hoodie and t-shirt designs can come in any color and any make. 
you know, um, t-shirt, long sleeve shirt, sweatshirt, <sighs> tank top, hoodie, all the things. So it has to be printed on or it would get kind of difficult to make. But the other one I got is this. You probably cannot even see this very well. This is a Thunderbird from the Fantastic Beasts. And I absolutely love this creature. He's so majestic. But also, the Thunderbird is supposed to be from Arizona, which it shows right here on the state's map. It shows you exactly where Arizona is. <laughs> I told Mom and Dad today, it's my favorite tourist hoodie. <laughs> The one bone I have to pick about these two hoodies is that, again, yeah, the design's printed on. It's not that great. It'll probably wash off eventually. Um, but the outside of these things is pretty rough. Now, uh, I just got these today because they came in separate packages. But I don't know how this is going to be after it washes. Hopefully it'll be softer. But I, I don't know. I may have gotten too big of a size. I don't know. It's as long as the other ones, but this one, I don't think it's as slouchy. So I'll have to see and take pictures in it and stuff, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. The inside of it is really like fuzzy and stuff. So that's nice, but meh. I really like this ponytail that I put in. I just think it's adorable and I love how this looks. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out things to do with my hair while I'm growing it out because it's beginning to like annoy me when it's like down all the time. I like need it to be pulled back and these like side pieces cannot be pulled back right now which is like they're so close but they can't and I know it's gonna be a while until this until the fringe can be pulled back but like it's fine. Everything but these side pieces can be pulled back. Like, if I took the side pieces out, I could pull this back into a ponytail. It wouldn't be able to match the top. Like, I couldn't pull the top and the bottom into, the, like, the same ponytail. But <sighs> we're working on it. Anywho, I just washed these and now they have cat scratch block pieces all over them so i'm gonna go put them over there i have a lot of laundry to do tomorrow and i have a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow piece by piece i'm working on a, a new necklace but i'm making a bead link necklace so i'm using this wire which is the cousin brand this is from walmart and i'm using the 20 gauge wire this stuff is it's rather pliable weak shall we say but it's easier to work with. And then I'm using these beads. This isn't, these beads are sitting in my um, basal body temperature thermometer container. That's why there's a battery right here. But anyway, I'm using those to create these teensy tiny bead links. And then eventually I'll put them together and make a necklace. I think it'll look really cool. Does it match my hair? Almost. I really want to try to make an ear wire or like an ear puff again, um, but I've got to probably look into that, get some ideas. I do know how to make one that wraps around the ear, but then I have to figure out how to like but I had to figure out the design I want to do. I really don't know yet. So I still had not made it to Best Buy to get that printer paper because I was too late one day and then I was too late one day and yeah, I haven't been there yet. Dad offered to order me some. On Amazon and I was like, dude, no. I could literally go get them right after work and then I didn't. <laughs> so the stuff I have printed out is just casually sitting on my desk. I love that for me. But I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned before, but I have a really bad breakout on my shoulder. You can't even see it. 
Yeah, you can. You can see all those, like, specific dots. You could really see it, like, in the back. Oh, my goodness. Is it this bad over here? Yeah. It's kind of nastable. I tried to wash it really well today. I don't know why it's breaking out. I don't know if it's because the last month or two I've been using a new body wash and so I don't know if that's what's causing it but I didn't use it this time and I really need it to calm down because having the raised bumps here where the shoulder seams hit is just not great. And it's funny because I was watching one of my vlogs back and I was driving and I was yelling at somebody and I, I usually call the cats like, butt is our nickname for, like, every cat, but it became boot instead of butt. And so we say, like, I'll say, come here, boot, <laughs> to, to, like, any cat, or, oh, it's a boot, or whatever. Um, but when I was driving, I was yelling at somebody, and I was like, you stupid butt. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so bad, though, but it made me laugh. I don't know if everybody has been experiencing, like, a really hard time mentally right now but for me I've been and I, I think I meant yeah I definitely mentioned this in one of my other books I just want to crawl under a rock and hide from everybody because there's just like I don't know there's chaos and confusion and I just feel like overwhelmed by everything but like outwardly it's fine but like inwardly it's like my brain is I don't know it's like there's just weird stuff going on and um I don't just some people I know are going through the same thing and I just I don't know I really 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 want to go to the uh the 83rd Thunderbird Park I think it is and have a photo shoot there just for no reason because I did that once with my sister for her high school graduation pictures. But I want to do that with myself now that I have the tripod that mom and dad got me for Christmas. I want to take it to the park and do a photo shoot with myself. I don't know how good it'll be. I feel like I won't be able to change outfits unless I'm doing like a skirt outfit and a pants outfit. Because there's no way I want to change jeans in a car in daylight like that sounds dangerous to me so no my face is shiny now I love that for me <sighs> there was a video I took earlier today where my face was like all textured and I was like oh hello <laughs> need to wash the face I have all the best intentions to get stuff done tomorrow but tomorrow is what I don't know what day tomorrow is but I think it's a Wednesday which means I only have the daytime to do stuff and then like an hour and then we have to get ready to go to church or something. Oh wait, is it that much? Church starts at 7 on Wednesdays and I get off work at 3.30. That's two and a half hours. Trust me, it feels like an hour. You get off work and five minutes later you're on your way to church. It's insane. But anyway, <laughs> I still love this pajama set. It is so comfortable. It has been so cold here it took until near the end of January for it to actually get cold here in Phoenix like <sighs> and dude we had hail two days in a row here and it has rained like four days out of like the past seven or something I don't know it's pretty insane but it wasn't that big of hail it was like a pea-sized hail but our the ground has been soaked for like two days ish and it's been rainy for like three or four days now oh it's crazy it's crazy we only had like two days of rain last year and we've already had more rain in the first month of this year than we had all last year so it's like totally insane and we didn't have any like giant thunderstorms last year and i'm like <sighs> like blank 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 um When I went to Florida in September, I was really excited to see the thunderstorms. We had some really loud thunder. Let's see, yesterday or the day before? I don't know. One of the two. 
all everything is blurring together i don't know what day it is anymore i just exist so yeah but i act i do love the rain it's great i love the sound of rain it is so relaxing but yeah it has been very cold here <laughs> and by very cold i mean like barely over 50. <laughs> But I think it's because since I've been working from home for like a million years that <sighs> I don't get out in the early mornings or I didn't get out in the early mornings during most of the winter. So I didn't feel any of the cold. But like now it's like cold during the day. And so, but I thought, oh, I don't even know. I have not taken my vitamins in a long time because I just cannot remember to take them and I want to take them at the same time every day, but it's like, ugh. Yeah, that's another thing about like the current mental state is that I feel like everything, like I can't control even my own personal tasks, routines. I don't have a routine. It's kind of national. I don't have an eating routine. I don't, I don't have an eating routine. I don't have a shower routine. I don't have a laundry routine. I don't have anything. I'm like, I feel like I really need to get a morning routine together, but oh, I don't know. See, I feel like I'm a lot like my dad because once he gets a routine, he just he does it all the time and if he gets out of his routine he's like very confused about what what's going on and so I feel like if I got into a routine I would be very thrown off if I got back out of the routine but it's like well there's kind of no difference because you know I don't know what's happening if there's always no routine so like what's the point I don't know there are so many things I'm trying to balance Besides the like personal routine stuff, I want to continue making jewelry and I want to continue writing and posting my stories. I'm trying to finish a couple stories right now. I'm looking into some old stories so that I can continue writing the, the series and hopefully finish that one day. I still like obviously right now I'm working on filming. Filming is not usually the problem for me. It's editing. I hate sitting down to edit because if I'm editing, I actually have to listen to the video. I'm like, I don't care if I don't mind hearing myself talk because every time I talk, like I hear what I'm saying. So it doesn't bother me that much. But when I sit down and I'm editing my videos, I can't listen to music because most of the time I talk so quietly, I cannot hear myself over the music no matter how quietly I play it. Because for some reason, I only record at night. So, well, that's fun. I'm going to show you what jewelry I've been making recently. Um, but I do want to share the piece that I have been wearing a lot. And I believe, yeah, I was wearing it in my The Great Skate vlog that I did. It's this. It's just like these caramel and black beads, which are really cool. And then these are just obviously like, they're called seed beads, I believe. And then I just have like the clasp here. Oops, that's backwards. Woo. There we go. Okay, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this, this large ring right here is for the, there's, I have another bead, which is exactly like these, and I have it as a bead drop, so I can, like, have one, but I took it off because this is unbalanced enough. If I move around a lot, it'll shift, and um, if it shifts with the, the bead on it, it's just, it's kind of weird, so... Uh, according to my watch, it's the next hour, so it's probably like, what, two? Is it two now? Oh, it's one. I'm shook. I'm shook that it's not two already. Anyway, 
I made these a couple days, not a couple days, but like when I first started getting back into beading, I made these. So this, just like clear stones, some of these roller gems. I don't know what these are called. This is actually a magnetic clasp, which I do not recommend. These are not strong enough to hold up this much. If I put this on and then I like wander around and do stuff, it is very easy for it to fall off. So yeah, at some point I'm probably going to have to reclasp these, but I am not really looking forward to that though. This would be easy because this one is held on by jump rings. So that's good. So, um, this one is also a magnet clasp it is not, this side is not held on by a jump ring. So that's what I'm saying. This side is, this side isn't. So that's bad news. But this is more of an unusual kind, but I think this one I like better than the other one. Oh, this one also has this kind of bead on it. That's very interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. There must have been one bead left over from when I did this. But anyway, yeah, it's got stars and diamonds and teardrops. And I just, I think this is really cool. And so it's green, green, black, and brown. And then the stars are, the stars are iridescent, which is really cool. So that's my other necklace. And I make them choker style because if they're too long, then they just like bounce and they get in the way. But if they're here, that's... I approve. <sighs> so here's one that I uh, actually, okay, so this is a, a braided bead wire bracelet and I actually broke the clasp on it, but it's just made in a straight line and then I have a clasp on the end. So the, thing, the problem is when I, I think I was trying to put it on and I broke the jump ring that was here that connected these two. And so I need to put the clasp back on, but this is firmly, <laughs> the chain's firmly connected to this side. So anyway, yeah, this would be like, so, but I have like tiny wrists, so I don't fit the average bracelet yeah this one basically goes all the way around my wrist and then the same day i made that i made this one which is a wire braid with like beads woven in which is really cool and i love this because purple and gold reminds me of um andromeda and arkenland <laughs> i wonder if anybody out there knows what arkenland is uh, and then I just used ribbon ends to end off the bracelet. And I didn't usually, when you do ribbon ends, it's a good idea to um, put glue in there. But I was not in the mood to get out the super glue. And actually, it's a E6000 glue, which I guess is a really strong crafting glue. I was not in the mood to get that out and finish this. And... Yeah, I can put this on without having to do that. So it's like, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but <laughs> my wrists are tiny, like they're tiny. Oh, actually I made this before I made the necklaces. I started this at a friend's house and I was trying to teach her do um beadwork and stuff this is basically just woven back and forth and then it broke and so it's uneven up here because i had to take some of the beads off in order to connect it again so maybe at some point i'll have to restring this but i was not in the mood but i love that it has the squares in there and the circles and then it has these like like clear quartzy bangs although I'm sure this is not quartz because it's like beads so it's probably like resin or something I don't even know 
But then I have my two favorites that I made just recently, and I am so thrilled. So let's see, which one should I talk about first? Let's talk about this one first. This one was basically, I think it was ARC inspired. Um, well, also ARC and like, <laughs> well, also ARC and like mental health, because this is supposed to represent molten rock for like the black crackle beads and lava for the red um bicones i guess is what they're called this is supposed to represent like the volcano biome and like fire and stuff and i think oh yeah i was in a mood when i made this <laughs> i was on video call because i was just not having a good time i literally don't even remember what was happening but yeah i was on video call and I made this and this made me so happy because I was like, this is totally like volcano, like power of explosion that I was feeling at the time. And so this one, love it so much. Love it. Then I think, so that one I made after this one on the same video call. But this one I made because I found this charm, which is, well, this is going to be, okay. It's a teddy bear. It's a teddy bear charm. And so I made this little bracelet, and this one actually fits my wrist pretty well. But it has, these are called rondelles right here because they're multifaceted, but they're not rounds. And so there's blue ones here, and then there's black ones here, and then I have regular rounds here, and then these are like very interesting silver ones. And then of course, the diamond slash squares, and then the different silver bits that are in between. This is a very hard bracelet for me to put on. <laughs> Okay, so that wasn't too hard. Normally, it takes me forever to put it on. So, yeah. It looks really, really cool because most of the time you can't even tell that these are blue. Yeah. Come on, camera, focus. It won't focus on anything besides my shirt. I love that for me. Anyway, I don't know how to do things. <sighs> But when I had my nails painted black, this looked amazing, especially because it was just like, can you even imagine? Yes. I moved the camera a little so I could go on with the nails because apparently I'm going to be staying up for a while. Can I move this? Oh. Oh. There we go, now my hair looks lighter. Anyway, I hate the lighting in this house, but I know if I choose to uh, film after dark, then that's my problem. But also, I still hate the lighting in this house. Burn her. This stuff is gonna burn. What I put on this fingernail polish because I chewed some of my fingernails down because, like I said, I cannot stop. So gonna have issues I need to go to bed I wanted to set a goal for myself that I go to bed at like midnight or I don't go to bed after what am I trying to say that I go to bed at midnight at the latest um it's not exactly working out so far so yeah Also, for like two days, I've had a Mid-South Voice song stuck in my brain. Without you, I haven't got a breath. Where would I go? Who would I turn to? Tell me if I didn't have you. 
Whose name would I call me when I need to escape? You're my hiding place. You're my shelter from despair. Without you, I haven't got a prayer. I really, I like the Mids Out Boys. <laughs> I don't know, their style, their songs, I've always liked them. Even though like a lot of the stuff I listened to in my child, like my early childhood, I um, disapprove of completely. Or at least I dislike as not being my style, actual. <sighs> but yeah, the South Boys are okay. I go through phases in my music. I listen to the same thing a bazillion times, and then I go and I listen to something else a bazillion times and repeat. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know if I announced that I am going to attempt to see my sister in a couple weeks. That I'm gonna go to like Pennsylvania and Ohio and stuff and things. So I asked for the time off today. <sighs> I almost dropped the stupid bottle. The poor girl dropped a bottle of lotion. <laughs> yeah, so anywho, there we go. <laughs> Nasty folks. <laughs> anywho, 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 anywho. I have like a kit right here. Which is like nail polish remover, a comb, um, my nail clippers, and my nail scissors. Because of certain difficulties I have. What kind of a noise was that? Sounded like a humpback whale was coming down the hall. It's great. Anyway, I think I'm going to try to gather up the things that I've thrown all over the floor while filming and um, listen to some flinger and go to sleep. Right now, I'm re-watching the first series that Gaming Evolved ever did on Ragnarok, but I'm watching like flingers and it's different from the rest because he didn't stay with the rest of the people because he didn't have enough time to record with them because he was doing his own thing at the time. So, yeah. I do need to go back in and listen to like the other seasons of Slip Gators, but right now I'm like, I've gone back to Flinger and I'm just like listening to Flinger because Flinger's the king. So, anyway. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. You're a butt. I'm not a butt. She's a silly kitty. And Gray's asleep on the back of the couch. She's so cute. She's a kitty. She's a little poop. The kittens actually are like 10 months old. Or no, they're probably 11 months old. Because we saw them in March, I think it was, last year. So, and they were walking around, but their eyes were still closed. So they were probably like four weeks old. So yeah, they're probably, they're getting close to a year old. But they're, we, we have three of the original four. We don't know what happened to the black and white cat, kitten. Anywho, um, a new Tom has moved into the neighborhood and it's a gray tiger cat and it's big. It's, it's bigger than mama kitty. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, sometimes that, that cat and Abalone's twin fight because Abalone's twin is so gentle, but yeah. I I really have a soft spot for Abalone's twin because his face is all scrunched up, but whenever he sees me, like if he's coming in from the, the side of the yard over there and he sees me, he'll stop and then he tilts his head and he looks at me for a minute and then he turns around and walks away just all chill like and he's so cute. What is the kitty? So yeah, I have a soft spot for him except for when he's bothering 
splotchy the other day and he had her trapped under the wagon and I'm like give me splotchy and she came running and like jumped behind the couch and then I had to chase off abalone swim we need to come up with a name for abalone swim but mom and dad don't like him because they don't want any more kittens but whatever I would love to adopt splotchy I would be able to I know I would be able to if I had my own place I could literally go out there and grab her and then just take her with me to an apartment or something but sadness anyway I really need to go to sleep I've been talking for way too long so good night